A while ago I did a LumaFade tutorial using the Sapphire plugin, but many of you want to see how to do that uh, without a plugin. But at the time, Resolve just didn't have anything. Now with Resolve 15 and Fusion, it's easy. Let's see how. Okay guys, you're going to need two clips for this. The first clip I have here is overlooking a cliff. The second clip I have is overlooking a football game. So what I want to do is get the effect of the football game over the cliff. Okay, so I'm going to put the first clip at the top and the second clip at the bottom. And I'm going to line it up roughly when I want to start the uh, Luma Fade effect right there. So I'm going to now go into the Fusion tab. And I'm going to go into the effects library under tools, matte, luma keyer, and then it should place a node there uh, below between my media in and out. I'm going to go into the inspector on the right. I'm going to move my luminance low and high all the way to the far right. I'm going to invert it because I want the light colors to, to disappear first. I'm going to set a keyframe at that point. And now I'm going to go and move uh, down a couple of keyframes to begin to uh, create the effect. I'm going to actually put a freeze in here so that the darker color of the two people overlooking the cliff as well as the uh, the landscape there is uh, remain. So I need to move this these these points, the low and high points, so that it just eliminates the sky and the clouds but not the darker portion. So that looks about right. Maybe let's just see if I can go a little closer. No, it looks pretty good right there. Okay, so I've got that set. So now I'm going to kind of freeze that Luma Fade uh, for several keyframes or actually several seconds. And then at this point, I'm going to now set another keyframe because I'm going to begin to allow it to uh, clear out the darker portion. Okay, so I'm going to move it, advance it a few keyframes and then move that to the far left and then set the keyframe there. So now if we take a look at that, we can kind of move the playhead there and watch the transparency. Now it doesn't have the second clip, but it does show us the transparency. Now let's go to the edit tab and see it, the entire effect. Okay, so it freezes it there, keeps the darker colors, and then it will uh, fade those out. Okay, good. So the only issue here is where the highlights are blown out. So it Luma keying effect doesn't really like that. So we're going to go to the beginning of that transition point and we're going to go back into Fusion here and we're going to go into Inspector and under Settings we're going to set the blend. So we're going to set a keyframe right at that transition point. We're going to set it to zero, the blend, and then we're going to keyframe over one and then set it back to one. And that should fix our, our issue there. Let's take a look. Yes. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Luma King and DaVinci Resolve 15 with Fusion. Piece of cake, right? If you got any questions, I'll leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.